Well, thanks to Greg Abbott this week, I can show you why Bill Ackman is still a B student. So, Greg Abbott is the governor of Texas. He is fed up with illegal aliens streaming across his border, two to 3,000 a day. That's uh, about a million a year. So he puts up razor wire along the border, Joe Biden's federal agents come and cut it down. The fight winds up in the U.S. Supreme Court where the feds prevail, so they're allowed to cut down the razor wire again. However, there is nothing in the decision saying that Texas can't put it back up. This is where Abbott steps up. Here is his January 24th statement. Now, it starts off with uh, the airing of grievances. The president has done that, and we have responded in such and such a way. And uh, what is it? Uh, it has inflicted unprecedented harm on the people all across the United States. I, you know, that's something that even I think Eric Adams would agree with, and he is a C or a D student. Anyway, um, unprecedented harm on the people all across the United States. Where does a principled, conscientious governor go from here? Well, the visionaries who wrote the U.S. Constitution foresaw that the states should not be left to the mercy of a lawless president. That is why the framers included Article 4, Section 4, which promises that the federal government shall protect each state against invasion. The failure of the Biden administration to fulfill the duties imposed by Article 4, Section 4 has triggered Article 1, Section 10, Clause 3, which acknowledges the state's sovereign interest in protecting their borders. In other words, Texas's right of self-defense. For these reasons, I have already declared an invasion under Article 1, Section 10, Clause 3, to invoke Texas's constitutional authority to defend and protect itself. That authority is the supreme law of the land the Texas National Guard, the Texas Department of Public Safety, and other Texas personnel are acting on that authority to secure the Texas border. What makes this an A paper is that straight line to this unambiguous determination. Here's the danger. Here's how we have attempted to mitigate it. Here is how you have frustrated that attempt. And here are the options we're left with. And this, the supreme law of the land is the authority for how we are going to act. It's all on one page. It shows a train of thought that proceeds with this rational precision to a, uh, well, a risky, maybe, conclusion, but an unavoidable one. And it establishes the authority for its claims. That is an A paper. By contrast, Bill Ackman, the disillusioned billionaire who was shocked to learn that he had been donating to an institution rife with anti-Semitism because these weak-minded, unprincipled leaders at Harvard had evaded scrutiny by checking certain identity boxes, has written thousands of words since Claudine Gay's appearance in front of Congress, but it hasn't amounted to this. He hasn't put up anything like Greg Abbott's A paper. I'm gonna talk about Bill Ackman's output and I wanna say up front, there's nothing intrinsically wrong with it. It's just that it's the work of a B student. That's all I'm saying. So he's on X journaling his uh, intellectual exploration of territory that is so well trodden by so many others that it, it just makes him look sophomoric. A man of his age and station in life surprised to find that DEI is not what it claims to be. I mean, of course, it opens him up to ridicule. What I learned, however, Bill tweets, was that DEI was not about diversity in its purest form, but rather DEI was a political advocacy movement on behalf of certain groups that are deemed oppressed under DEI's own methodology. And the response, LOL, you just learned that last month. Billionaires aren't very smart, we're learning. Hosted by Bill Ackman, 1987. I just found out that the German Democratic Republic is not really democratic. And there's some cynicism. He's likely lying and just turning against DEI because it turned against him. A rebrand that puts Jews higher on the intersectionality stack will probably be enough to satisfy him. Now, a quote is not an endorsement. This is just to give an idea of how people are responding to a loquacious billionaire who is not necessarily smart. So, what does it all come down to? Where is Bill Ackman now? I will pursue the societally, societ socially important, please, let me just say, 
societally important issues, including problems with how our media operates, the ideological takeover of our education system, discrimination in all forms, and free speech to the end of the earth. Bill, we're all doing that. We all are. Claudine Gay will tell you that that's what she's doing. When I was 15 years old, I joined a club with pretty much these very goals. And the, uh, the foundational philosophy of our club was that we as Catholic girls should go out in the world and do good. What is your foundational philosophy, Bill? It looks to me like you're still in the dazed and confused stage. You seem surprised by this. Harvard appointed a guy who called Israel an ethnic cleanser to co-chair a task force on anti-Semitism. Your money couldn't prevent it. And your first big move is to endorse a presidential candidate who's got DEI slathered on his website. Oh, it's okay, you tweeted. I, I'm educating him. I've been forwarding him some articles from the New York Times. I wonder if Bill Ackman liked the movie. Of course, it's debatable, but some alumni who have understood Harvard's problems much longer than Bill Ackman has even suspected them say that that institution is unsalvageable. It's time to abandon the sinking ship and put your resources into a, a higher education institution that actually shows some promise. That's the kind of paper for which I would give Ackman an A. I'm waiting for his when in the course of human events tweet. I'm waiting for his, the federal government has broken the compact between the United States and the states tweet. Things are that bad in higher education, but Ackman's public utterances show that he has oceans to cross and depths to plumb before he understands what his enemies are, what revolution is, what this battle is, what the very foundation of his actions should be. Aside from a sense of personal injury and a sense of shock at how bad he's found things to be, because given the things he's saying, things are much worse.